Hey there folks, today I have a new challenge cup for Wi-Fi battle. My opponent is the Waffle Master 100. He PM'd me asking me if we could do a challenge cup rotation battle, and while I usually don't do rotation battles, it's challenge cup, so why the hell not? And I especially wanted to help him out because he wanted to use this battle for his 50 subscriber special, um, congratulations the Waffle Master 100 on reaching 50 subscribers. I remember when I reached 50 subscribers, it was such an amazing thing, and actually really meant a lot more to me almost than when I reached a thousand. I mean, back then, you know, things were just so different. Anyway, Challenge Cup Rotation Battle. My team sucks. I see he's got Shedinja, so I'm like, yeah, I definitely want to get a Bomb of Snow out there and get the hail up. But I'm like, wait, why isn't the hail up? I don't understand. I guess you have to switch it out and switch it back in. It's really strange, but okay, rotation, whatever. Um, <laughs> my Terrakion is a really kind of useless set. Uh, Safeguard is one of its better attacks, so I actually withdraw Terrakion. Yeah, I, by, the, by the way, I have very few things that can actually hit Shedinja, which is why I absolutely need this hail, because otherwise Shedinja is just going to be able to wreck through my entire team. Uh, so here, his Cricket Dude has Sunny Day. So do you realize what we have here, folks? We have a Challenge Cup Rotation Weather War. What the hell? So I'm like, hey, what the hell, let's take advantage of the sun and go for a solar beam because my Carnivine has solar beam, but his Shedinja doesn't matter because it's got Wonder Guard, so I'm like, what am I going to do? Um, it dig his, uh, his Shedinja digs. Uh, these Challenge Cup sets are hilarious. I have no idea why I switched out into Golurk, uh, who actually is going to get hit by the dig, but oh, it's because it's got Thief, and that's one of the few moves that I have on any of my teams that can hit the Shedinja. <laughs> This is just ridiculous. So I go for the Thief on the off chance he would think maybe he still walls me. Um, I've got a Bomb of Snow back out. I've got to switch it out uh, just so that I can get the Hail back up. Otherwise, I have no idea how I'm going to kill this Shedinja. Um, I go out into Mind Fu. Can't do anything to Shedinja, but it's got actually kind of a useful set in that it has Protect. Protect is an excellent move to have in Challenge Cup and also pretty darn good to have in rotation. So here I go for the taunt. What the hell? Why the hell not? He goes for substitute, and actually we, the, between the two of us, we were like, we don't actually know what um, substitute will do on Shedinja. So we're like, let's find out. Oh yeah, my Meganium's a Flame Orb. Isn't that just fantastic? So here I go for another Protect on my Mind Fu. Um, again, I'm not sure. So here I go for the taunt again, even though he's like, I just want to go for sub, and I honestly should have just let him, but I was actually wondering whether he'd send out uh, Cricket Tune would be able to set up a sunny day, and basically if I were able to taunt that, then I could send out a bomb of snow and maybe get my hail back up. This is kind of really weird. So here I taunt him again. He tries to taunt me. That's just hilarious. Uh, Cricketune uses secret power. My Meganium is completely useless. Grass pledges, I believe it's main attacking move. Yeah, and it, it really helps when I'm burned, by the way. So Shadin just got Wonder Guard completely broken in Challenge Cup. This is the Excessor. It's going to take out my... Or maybe it wasn't Excessor. I don't remember what it was. Um, Fury Cutter, I think. Anyway, it takes me out. I go out into Terrakion. Go for another safe card. I really don't know why. Shedinja is going to burrow its way underground. Uh, I switch out into Mind Food, go for the Protect, uh, and just to basically prevent him from doing damage with Dig, I go out back into Terrakion. I go for Leer against a Pokemon with 1 HP. LOL, but really I have nothing better to do. Um, Terrakion goes for Poison Jab just on the off chance he'd switch, and here we see that substitute doesn't work if you have 1 HP, so, yeah. Um, here I go for the Poison Jab, does not get his Cricket Tune Poison, does a decent chunk. Um, he's no longer taunted, I'm no longer protected by Safeguard. I was gonna come not to, I go for the Poison Jab, does a decent chunk, I don't know why he's not, well I guess he... Yeah, I don't know why he's not sure anything after this. I guess he figures it's lame, um, but he's just leaving him. Go, he goes for the, that little Natu goes for the Grass Knot and one hit KOs my Terrakion. Here I take the opportunity of getting a free switch to send out a Bomb of Snow. Um, so yeah, out now I'm going to send out Carnivine. Uh, Natu, his Natu Baton passes out of there. It's got to be at like 2 HP. Um, just he figured why not, uh, it's an interesting switch. Um, and I guess he gets to do some switch scouting. I was fearing the Ice-type move from Fione, um, I'm not sure that's how you pronounce it, but yeah, luckily, uh, so here I'm doing an epic prediction, uh, I go out into Golurk thinking that he's going to switch up his moves, and I go for Rest, so Golurk is going to be back up to full HP, and Golurk is, like, the main champ on my team, so here, I'm not fearing, um, Fear Tomb's 
Uh, anything really. Yeah, so he, he sacked out Shudin to just decide, what the hell, let's get rid of it. His Natsu goes for Grass Knot, I predict that. Mindfu takes that quite well. Um, and now I taunt his Natsu and it's just gonna die to hail. But so here I've leveled up the playing field a little bit. I'm thinking, okay, now, uh, here, this weather war gets even more ridiculous because it's not Hippowdon. So now I win the, try to win the weather war again by sending out a Abama Snow. This is crazy. He goes for Giga Impact, epic move in Challenge Cup, takes out my Abama Snow. L O freaking L. Uh, I'm gonna send Mind Food back out. I'm pretty sure I'm down to my last three Pokemon. Um, so it's hail, not rain. So I'm hope I, I actually forgot how long I had for this Solar Beam, uh, and it's still the two turns. It's only rain that makes it three. So he's got a Rindo Berry. What the hell? What the freaking hell? He has a Rindo. I mean. Nullifies my super effective grass type move. Uh, Hippowdon wasn't really taking that uh, too badly anyway. This is just hilarious. Uh, here I hit Fiona with Dig. Not gonna do very much. He's got a normal gem with Swift. It's gonna not take out Mind Poop, but it's gonna get him down pretty low. This is just like the what the hell kind of battle. I'm getting wrecked uh, in Challenge Cup because of this crazy. He's got just this most amazing, crazy team. Oh my god. Uh, anyway, Mindfu's back out. Mindfu's gonna dig underground, and here I actually find out something very interesting. Uh, Fiona's by, by, uh, buffeted by the hail. Uh, Mindfu is not. Mindfu, when you're underground, apparently does not take hail damage. Um, too bad, by the way, this doesn't have regenerate. This was an inner focus set. That sucks. Cricketoon is now going to uh, nullify all the weathers with a sunny day. Hilarious. Uh, I'm not fearing too much with this Galurk. He goes for a Fire Fang. Uh, I'm just going to stay asleep. Uh, here he goes for the Sucker Punch, and I was just quickly in random moves because I have another Sleep Turn to burn off. I did not realize that um, if you selected a non-sleep, non-rest move, like a, an actual attacking move, even though you were sleeping and guaranteed to be sleeping, Sucker Punch could still hit you. What the hell? So here my opponent realizes that I, basically my plan with Galurk is to stall him out, so he goes for Spite. Great move if you don't have access to Taunt, although he actually does have a Taunter on his team. Um, here I go for the Solar Beam uh, against the Spirit Tomb, take advantage of the Sun, the Sun is now ended, but I actually did a lot of damage to that Spirit Tomb. Mind Food is going to get taken out by a Sucker Punch, oh well. I am down to my last two Pokemon. Goes for Sucker Punch, it is going to hit, and it's going to do a lot of damage uh, as I stay asleep. Again, that was just a, I guess it was a misclick on my part. Here he goes for the Sucker Punch again, I wake up, go for rest, and my opponent I believe is going to go for another Spite. But I am going to be back at the full HP, and these are his last three Pokemon, so, yeah, uh, wow, he got a crit on that Thief, that sucks, that really sucks, Spirit Team goes for another Thief, I'm basically pottering out, I don't know what the deal was there, I really don't, I'm sorry. Um, but Golik's going to stay fast asleep, he's going to go for Giga Impact, I'm not sure why, he could have gone for the Fire Fang and actually do some damage, but works for me. He goes for Thief here, gets me down really, really low, I wake up, I'm just going to go for rest. I uh, could have predicted that he would go for Thief and not Sucker Punch, um, but I, either way, I don't want to lose my Golurk in that level, or rather, Spite and not Sucker Punch, but um, I decided not to risk it. Uh, he's going to go for Thief again as I sleep, and so I'm just going to sleep and keep selecting Rest so that he cannot hit me with Sucker Punch. He goes for another Thief, doing a lot of damage here. Now, now I'm going to go for Bulldoze, predicting him to uh, predicting him to go for the Spite. He does go for the Spite, and I really could have actually potentially won this, but I, sh I really should have gone for the rest there, but I didn't, and so now I've lost my Golurk and lost the battle. So great game, um, the Waffle Master 100. This was a crazy battle. Uh, congratulations on 50 subs. Uh, so long, folks. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.